of some problems here. List A consists of the numbers 295113 and list B consists of the numbers 7, 4, 12, 15, 18. If the two lists are combined, what is the median of the combined list? So let's recall that the median of a set of data is the value located in the middle of the data set. So we just have to arrange this ones, okay, the two sets um, in ascending order. So let's do that. So we've already combined the two data sets. So we have here this one in ascending order, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 12, 13, 15, 18. So now finding the median, the median is the middle, the middle of this um, data set. In the case that the data set contains an even number of numbers, we just have to get the median, get the average of the two middle numbers. So that would be, uh, we would add the two numbers and divide it by two. So in this case, we have an even number of numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the middle numbers are seven and nine. So we just have to add seven and nine divided by two. So this is the average. So that would be 16 over two, which is just equal to eight. So our answer here is letter C. Simplify the factorial six factorial. Now to solve a factorial, let's recall that n factorial is just equal to the product of the whole numbers from 1 to n. So that will be 1 times 2 times 3 times and so on times n. So 6 factorial here is just equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 four times five times six. So this is just equal to 720. Therefore, six factorial is just equal to 720. And the answer is letter B. Solve negative three cubed. So to solve this, we just have to remember the basic rules of exponents. So when a number is raised to a certain power, say in this case it's raised to 3 or cube, we can just simply multiply the number to itself 3 times. So that would be n times n times n. So in this case we're given negative 3 cube. So this is just equal to negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 times negative 3. So negative 9 times negative 3, that is negative 27. Therefore, negative 3 cubed is just equal to negative 27. And the answer here is letter D. If 6W plus 4 equals 8W, then 4w equals, now let's solve for the value of w first. So we're given 6w plus 4 equals 8w. We subtract um, 4 from both sides. So this cancels out. So we have 6w equals 8w minus 4. And then we subtract 8w from both sides. Then we have 6w minus 8w equals negative 4. 6 minus 8 is just equal to negative 2w equals negative 4. Divided by negative 2, this cancels out. So negative 4 divided by negative 2 is just positive 2. So our w is equal to 2, and now we can solve for 
4 w so 4 w is just equal to 4 times 2 therefore this is just equal to 8 so the answer here is letter D factor 4y times 3x plus 2 minus 2 times 3x plus 2 so how are we going to factor this now any part of an expression that is common to every term in the expression can be factored out so in this case um, the common term is 3x plus 2 so we can factor out 3x plus 2 so that is 4y 3x plus 2 minus 2 times 3x plus 2 then we factor out 3x plus 2 we put this outside okay now we are left with 4y and negative 2 so that would be 4y minus 2 and now we we have our factors here so our answer is letter a Okay, if n is a positive integer divisible by 7, and if n is less than 70, what is the greatest possible value of n? So we just have to know or find one multiple of a number. It says here that n is divisible by 7. So in this case, 70 here is divisible by 7 and we can just have to we we can just add or subtract the number 7 from 70 since 70 is divisible by 7 so that would be 70 minus 7 is just 63 so the number the greatest possible value of n that is divisible by 7 and less than 70 would be okay, 63. Or you can do trial and error. Let's say you can try 69. 68, 67, 66, 63, uh, 65, 64, 63, and so on, and divide them by 7. So the greatest possible number uh, value of n there would be the answer. So in this case, the answer is 63. So the answer is letter C. Okay. If 3 times x minus 4 equals 18, what is the value of x? Okay, so we can solve this in two ways. We can either divide both sides by 3 to, get, uh, to solve for the value of x, or you can distribute 3 to the expression inside the parenthesis first. So let's try the first one. Let's do the first one first. So that is 3 times x minus 4 equals 18. So we divide both sides by 3. 3 cancels out. So th we have x minus 4. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And then we add 4 to both sides. So x here is equal to 10. Okay. The other way is... We have 3x minus 4 equals 18. We multiply 3 to the expression inside the parentheses. That is 3 times x, 3x, copy the operator sign, minus, and 3 times 4 is 12 equals 18. And we add 12 to both sides. This cancels out. So this is 3x equals 30 and then we divide both sides by 3 the answer is 10 so the answer here is letter D 10 so whichever is more convenient for you or easier for you to do then you choose it, it could be this one or this one then you will still 
um, end up with the same answer. You'll still get the same answer.